Hey, hey I just saw your movie. Like, I just finished it, like, 10 minutes before I went on the Zoom call. So I am, I am, the hairs on my arm are standing up. I'm very excited. Um, right. Once, you know, this is a concept that if they wanted to, could be done very tongue in cheek or comedically. And once, but once the throttle gets hit or whatever, uh, I'm proving that I don't know anything about motorcycles. Um, this, it just never lets up. It's in full survival mode the whole time. How did you keep that uh, momentum? Well, I think I think I think that's for Perry. I mean, Perry's performance in this is the lightning rod of the film, and um, her performance uh, was extraordinary. And uh, she is, as I said, she's the driving force in the film, and um, she made it not comedic, not lending itself to um, cliched. Uh, performance. I mean, she's a really unique, wonderful talent. Um, so that question has to be directed to her. She's the <laughs> she's the boss of this film. Well, well, how did you keep the the blood pumping, so to speak, Perry? The blood pumping. What, mm -hmm. what do you mean? Maybe you what? have to adrenaline. Oh. The adrenaline. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the tension. The tension throughout the film. <sighs> Uh, I don't know. Actually, uh, when I when I came home, I think I came home like a total bruise. I needed some week to, you know, recover and feel what what happened because it, 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 it was a lot. But um, I think it was my mother heart because um, I, I'm a mom too. It, it helped a, a lot, you know. I, and I, I've never experienced such a fear at the moment when I when I became a mother and this fear that my my child get hurt that drives drives me and this is um, driving driving the character as well. So I think. Um, um, this is one part, <laughs> and then um, there are a lot of things I've never did before, and um, this creates a lot of energy. I mean, I had to jump on burning cars and have to shoot and have to do so many things that I've never done, and I was scared about it and used my being scared um, for the character. And and yeah, I think a lot of things like that happened <laughs> to me and then to the character as well. <laughs> sure. Um, your vampire makeup is terrifying it's very scary and it's got it's got teeth yes. and for for me just in my head like the idea of having prosthetic teeth inside my mouth just like makes me very queasy was that a challenge this is so fun that you asked the question because I would nev never thought that this was one of the worst thing of all these things I had to you know I, I had lenses around my eye I had blood that tasted like pure sugar this was but teeth with this glue in it i'm i'm gonna be a grandmother without any teeth rather than putting <laughs> these glued teeth again in my mouth i swear to god this was so horrible <laughs> so so yes there were some distracting things on my body but actually it helped a lot acting so did, did you get used to it as it went on no, never. Because it was summer, you know, I was sweating. At some point, Robin, my makeup artist, um, the, the makeup uh, it was done by Marco Ye, Oscar Prize winning, um, wonderful uh, makeup designer. And um, Robin uh, w was taking care of, of my makeup. So at some point, there was a big sweat bubble on my head. I was not knowing it. So he came, I have to cut your head. And then he had to cut my head and all the sweat was running in my eye and everything. So oh. there was a lot of things going on with the mask, but it's, I think for me, a pure art form. Without them, the movie will, net, will not be the movie as it is now. Sure. Uh, Dominic, I know you had to do uh, teeth and eyes back in Blade, but wow. uh, do, do you wake up in the middle of the night screaming with the, 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 about the glue or was it not as bad for you? It wasn't. It wasn't as bad for me. I did remember the the, the eye contacts are just scratching and just want to rip your eyes out. Um, you know, and performing with the uh, contacts, I didn't have much peripheral, so it was just all. But yeah, no, I never want to go back to being a vampire again. <laughs> Forget it. Sure. Like I, I, even the idea of wearing regular contacts for me just like freaks me out. I have friends who have contacts and when I see them put them in, I have to look away. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm just a, a wuss. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a trip for sure. 
Yeah. Um, all right, so I think uh, last question. Tell me about playing inside this this airplane set. Tell me about this like constrained tube. Like, is it a kind of a uh, you know? What do you have to change and what do you have to work on when you're acting in that kind of space where it's it's much more just visually two dimensional, uh, especially in like the long hallways. You know, is, is well, there a different sense of space? No, it it it, it is the space we, we were playing in. It's a plane, and you know this thing was built. The the the, the scale of the the um, uh, the plane is the scale of a real size plane. Uh, excuse my roundabout way of saying that. Um, but it just lends itself, it, it, the, the dimensions and the close quarters just add to the drama of, of what we're doing. And so there is no acting. We are really squeezed and squashed and the camera guy is right here and you're like, you know, it's right in your face and it's, you know, I mean, that, that adds to the drama of, uh, of the film.